This video is about the difference between gern, lieber, and am liebsten. And these three phrases are so important when you're expressing preference. That's what they're about. They're expressing preference. And all of them, what type, parts of speech are they? What types of word? They're adverbs. So they never change. They'll never change their form. You might see gern with an e on it, but it means just the same thing. They never change their form and they go with verbs to express preference. What's the difference between them? Let's start with gern. Gern literally means gladly, but you use it when you want to say that you like something. So just that you like something, it's a positive statement. For example, ich würde das Buch schon gern lesen, aber ich habe keine Zeit. I would like to read the book, but I don't have any time. So in this sentence, the gown expresses the fact that you'd like to read, but that's not reality, you don't have the time, but the wish is still there, you'd like to, it's a positive wish. And again, das habe ich doch gern getan. This means, I was happy to do so. So whatever it is you're talking about, you were happy to do it. You liked doing it, and that's what the gown expresses. In this first instance, first example, the gown goes with lesen. In the second one, the gown goes with tun, the verb tun did. Okay, what's lieber then? Well, this is a term of comparison. And this is when you're comparing it with one other thing. You like something, but you like something else a bit more. So this means preferably, or I like more. Examples. Ich hänge das Bild lieber anders wohin. I prefer to hang the picture somewhere else. So lieber here goes with the verb hängen. And you're saying, well, there are two possible places to hang this picture, but I'd prefer this one. Sollen wir lieber zum Essen gehen, anstatt selbst zu kochen? Should we rather go out to eat instead of cooking ourselves? Now this expresses the meaning of lieber, which is sort of like rather. You're preferring something to someone else and you're preferring something to something else. And we might say rather in English. But the things you're preferring are very clear. One is going out to eat and one is cooking oneself. And finally, am liebsten. This is the strongest of them all. So this time you're not just comparing with one other thing, you're comparing with everything. And you're saying, well, I like this most of all. So we have in these examples, am liebsten arbeite ich mit Torn. I like to work with clay most of all. Out of all the materials I could work with, I prefer to work with clay. And so am liebsten here is in the first position in the sentence verb in the second, and it's going with the verb arbeite. Second and final example, ich würde am liebsten auf beide parties gehen. I prefer most to go to both parties. So in this case, am liebsten goes with the verb würde, and then gehen as the second. And think about how many options there are here. You could go to party number one, you could go to party number two, you could go to no parties. But what this person is expressing is out of all the possible options, I'd actually prefer the fourth option, which is to go to both of the parties. So it's comparing it to every other option and saying, most of all, I'd like to do that. 